A small North Carolina town, something big is spooking residents. Multiple people have claimed to see a large furry animal trudging through the woods. There's now even a museum dedicated to the sightings of what some are calling Bigfoot. CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith has more from Littleton. I literally could see him from all the way over here. I started hearing it, hearing it. Tiffany Merrill recounts the morning she saw a creature weaving through the woods behind her house. It was very large, and its hair was super long, and it was running so fast. Right away, I asked her, so could it have been a guy, a hunter, a guy in a ghillie suit, or a bear? That's not like a bear, and it wasn't like a coyote. I've never seen anything like that whatsoever. Stephen Barcello is a cryptozoologist. He investigates sightings of creatures whose existence has hasn't been proven. He says Merrill is not the only one who's seen what he believes to be a Bigfoot. There's a lot of people in this town that have had sightings who still won't come talk to us just out of fear of being ridiculed, and that's very common. Marcelo says one reason for the recent sightings of the creature may be this. There have been logging of forests all around Littleton for the past six months, possibly disturbing the creature's habitat. A sighting at nearby Medoc Mountain State Park turned up a good find for Barcelo. An abnormal footprint he was able to cast and show to park rangers. We brought it in, they ended up calling another ranger in and another ranger, then the superintendent, and they had all bets were off. They had no idea what it was. The unidentifiable print is now displayed in the museum he's created in his Littleton home. Barcelo admits he's never seen a Bigfoot and he may never be able to prove its existence. But he can certainly draw in a curious crowd that will boost his town's tourism. We're putting Littleton on the map, which is good. So, and that's, you know, for a positive reason and for a fun reason. In Littleton, Carla Griffith, CBS North Carolina.